And here now to respond is Robert Driscoll. Now, he was the attorney for the alleged Russian spy, Maria Butina, who is right in the middle of this story. Uh, Harmeet Dillon, attorney, Trump 2020 advisory board member, and Terry Churchy, former deputy assistant director of counterterrorism for the FBI. All right, Robert, I know this is a sensitive subject, but what can you <laughs> tell us that we already haven't heard? Um, well, it, basically, the timeline's right. I mean, there was a relationship that started at Freedom Fest in 2015 and continued um, right up until the time uh, she was arrested a few months before that. Um, and so, to the extent, I know his story sounds crazy, but to the extent it intersects with Maria, it's um, consistent and can be verified through her. As to what the contacts were with the government, my main concern is her defense lawyer is, um, you know, he's told me that he gave the government exculpatory information saying at some point that he, you know, though he was concerned about her, he concluded she wasn't a spy, concluded she was an honest person doing what she was trying to do as a student and conveyed that to the FBI. And if that's in a 302 somewhere, it should have been turned over to me. Two, two are the interview um, memos. The, and the uh, this is the Brady rule for right. all you law geeks out there who want to be. So the Brady rule requires the prosecutor to right. give to the defendant's team all exculpatory information. Now, Byrne is saying that Peter Strzok was in the middle of this right. and that this went to the highest levels. Right. Comey, McCabe, on down. Yeah. Like, this is wild. Now, I've got a in full declaration of, 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 of <laughs> what I know. I've known Patrick Byrne since, I think, our first week in college. <laughs> we were both the uh, same class in, in college, and I've known him for a long I don't keep in touch with him, but right. uh, to me, it's, it's these appearances on television were pretty interesting. He's now kind of disappeared. We'll get into it more later. Right. But have you heard anything back from the government regarding your client, who obviously has been convicted and is serving time for... Right. Uh, her own lying to the well, government. I, I sent a letter raising this issue and asking for an investigation to Durham Horowitz and uh, the Office of Professional Responsibility. I got a letter back from the Inspector General saying that OPR would be investigating. And so the investigation is with OPR right now to look into whether there was any Brady material withheld or any other attorney misconduct with respect to Maria's case. Does any of this surprise you? I know you've known about her relationship with Byrne for some right. time. But does this, these other elements, we're going to get into in a minute, Hillary's name being mentioned uh, by Byrne, saying they were, someone might have been trying to blackmail her yeah. or something at some point, does that surprise you? It, yeah, it's wild. When, when I first heard the story and first spoke with Patrick, I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, I think I had the same reaction, you know, three weeks ago that everyone else had watching cable last night, thinking to myself, this is, this is wild. But what always struck me was this guy, you know, what he says about Maria was generally accurate. And, and he was, uh, I could verify most of it. So it, it, I have to take it at least seriously, at least the government should take it seriously, mm -hmm. because the part that intersects with what I know and what I can prove is generally accurate. Why did they break up? Um, well, I mean, I think it was never that close relationship to begin with. I think that they, they, they had common interests and they got together a few times over the years. I mean, I wouldn't put it as the love of anyone's life, but I think mm -hmm. there was a... It was romantic, a, though. A, a, yeah, oh, yeah. It looked like the, it got... Yeah. Serious. I mean, it's oh, no, there, there was hotel certain... rooms involved. Yep. No. <laughs> Two rooms, one room. It's but, a little unclear but, there. For, for sure. But um, again, uh -huh. it, 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 I don't think it was the most. Um, I mean, she was dating someone else. There, there you know, yeah. there's complicating factors. And you know, I'm not Dr. Phil on that front. Okay. So. All right, Terry Turchy. How credible is this claim, though, that with all your experience, that the FBI specifically, Comey, who was the director at the time, directed him to have. And an ongoing relationship with someone they believed was a Russian operative. When a gal comes up to you from Russia and says, listen, uh, I've been sent here to make contact mm -hmm. with you, and we want to take you to Moscow and want you to speak on Bitcoin and speak on liberalism, you have to report that. And before I know it, the men in black are back in, in my life, and I, I was trying to encourage her to have a relationship. Last summer, watching television and some congressional hearings, I figured out where those orders came from. They gave him a guy named Peter Strzok, and Bill Trista, Carlin, McCabe, Comey. That was who sent the orders. Terry, I mean, people are watching this going, what? So Patrick Byrne had a low-level security clearance. He wanted to keep it. That's why he reported to whatever person at the FBI he reported to about the, his relationship or c connection with uh, Martina. But... Comey, McCabe, uh, involvement struck? What of this? They're rejecting these notions, saying it's all, this is all ridiculous. The FBI doesn't work that way. 
Uh, Terry, what's the truth here? Does the FBI ever work that way? Well, sure. In a counterintelligence investigation or case, the FBI would certainly reach out to a former asset and uh, for the purpose of people's understanding, in counterintelligence, we refer, to, we refer to people as assets rather than informants. And so if they'd used uh, Patrick Byrne in any capacity before, it would, have been, it would have made sense to reach out to her and maybe ask him to rekindle whatever relationship he had if they were interested in her, which we know that they were. And there were a lot of other things going on during 2015 and 2016. So they could have also benefited from the idea that if you have, for example, let's just take uh, hypothetically the, the Russian uh, Trump investigation. If that was in its early stages and it was just a preliminary inquiry, then you can actually reach out to a current or a former uh, asset like that, whereas you would have to get special approval in a preliminary inquiry to reach out to somebody or to develop a new asset. So they had uh, a lot of reasons that they might have wanted to use him. As far as the part about uh, Director Comey uh, specifically said something to me or Deputy Director McCabe, something like that, that may not be exactly what he meant to convey. I would, I would think that, uh, and I watched his interview uh, on television, uh, I think he meant to convey that the agents who were talking to him had uh, let him know that these are the people calling That's the what shots. I got so from that. it's all very yeah. interesting. It's all very kind of, uh, as you watched it, uh, you kind of scratched it. It's like your another, head. However, it's another character in this ongoing drama, Harmeet. And Harmeet and I both went to the same college. He went to, co I heard this, I'm like, Patrick Byrne, what's I got a left field? I was like, what? It's just bizarre. But it doesn't seem to me to be out of the realm of possibility, Harmeet, that well, when Strzok you, when you, and, and Comey, anything they could do at this point to stir the pot. Well, absolutely, Laura. Out of these people, some of them are known to be liars. I mean, we all, I think many of us believe Comey certainly lied repeatedly, and that's been found, and uh, pay, uh, McCabe and Strzok were fired for, the, for lying. So out of these characters, although this tale is a wild one, um, you know, I have to say that I'm going to suspend judgment on that until we hear more facts. But so far, as Robert said, a lot of this is lining up, certainly from the point of view of his client. Uh, the Brady violations are of a piece of what we've heard out of uh, these, this cast of characters and failure by these DOJ officials to turn over the information that's exculpatory. And so I'm prepared to believe a lot of this. I and mean, some of the details are a bit hazy, and there have been a number of different interviews with some uh, slightly different facts. Yeah, but, but i got to uh, have a question. I have a question here, because it's an, it is an, a bit of an odd timeline. Because if, if Strzok, and I, maybe someone can explain this, if Strzok and all these guys, Comey, they didn't want Trump to win, and then it, then why we ha we're hearing this stuff about, well, it was attempt to blackmail Hillary. I, I, do, Robert, do you understand? Not well, Robert, I'm going to ask uh, Terry this. Do you get that aspect? Tommy? I do understand that aspect, Laura. However, um, again, remember, this is a, a counterintelligence investigation. There aren't even any 302s, for example. Uh, counterintelligence assets are not reported on 302s. They're simply reported on memos and what we used to call inserts. So they're not the same kind of, um, uh, they don't have the same kind of uh, oversight that you would think is, uh, that you would see in the criminal type field. So who knows? And I mean, as Harmi just said, yeah. uh, there's well, a question about all the characters in this play. Yeah, and, well, uh, all I can there's say, There's nothing guys, about I'll, his interview that bothers me at yeah. all. I think it all seems pretty reasonable to yeah, me. Yeah, well, I'm going to say to three of you is I hope John Durham uh, in Connecticut, the U.S. attorney is investigating. I hope this is all part of the booyah base of facts that he's going through because all, all of this seems just too bizarre and too convenient, a lot of these explanations. I appreciate it all. Thank you, panel.